there's a lot of flesh on show right now so i don't mind <laughs> dressing like a 10 year old when i'm 30. hey guys i hope you're all well welcome back to my youtube channel and a haul that i've not done in ages it's a sorrow um i've not done a sorrow haul in ages and i was like do you know what i keep seeing things but i feel like they're selling out so quickly on them so hopefully these things will still be in stock so i'm going to do a really quick turnaround for you guys but yeah i feel like their stuff seems to sell out so quickly because i always see stuff on instagram on people and then i'm like where's that from and then i look and it's gone already so and none of the stuff that i could see on instagram that i wanted was actually online but i did find a ton of things that i wanted so i decided to make an order um and i think i ordered something oh no some of the things were off instagram so i think they do restocks of some things i don't know anyway i always love how it's packaged and these colors are very pleasing to me so it's a really cloudy day but i feel like the light on here is okay so i'm filming but i'm gonna do the cutaways on another day not that you guys will notice the difference um so i'm gonna link everything below and including this sweatshirt which is from american vintage and is so cozy and it's on sale um so i'm gonna put this box on the floor i've just remembered loads of things that i've got so the first thing is this lilac dress you guys know how much i love lilac it's like a cotton poplin material tied at the front it's really cute i saw this on um chloe rose or all chloe rose on instagram um and i loved it and i just thought it looked like such a cute little summer dress so i was like i need to have that one um i like the ruffle detail like i said the bow it's a really nice material too though it is quite creased like i think it will crease easily that's the only thing but i love the color i'm obsessed with lilac you guys me and lilac it's a love affair <laughs> I'm obsessed with this dress. The colour is so nice. I actually thought it was going to be really unflattering and it almost looked like a pregnancy dress that's got like this line here, but it doesn't at all. Um, I think it's really cute. I love the ruffles, I love the tie, and I actually feel about 10 years old, which I don't hate. Um, and I, I mean, I've kind of added to the 10 years old with my trainer socks and trainers and my little basket bag, but can we just appreciate it? It's just so cute. I love it. So, I mean, I'm not sad about that. I don't mind <laughs> dressing like a 10 year old when I'm 30. Um, but I'm just obsessed with the colour, guys. I just, lilac is just, it has my heart. Now, this is interesting and not what I expected. So, this is completely, I, I mean, this is going back, I'm telling you now. <laughs> so, it's a shoulder pad top, and I wanted to try it because it looked like it's not it's actually got a mark on it it's not the same material as like the t-shirts and stuff it's more of like a blouse i mean i'll try it on and maybe i'll be surprised but um i just feel like i thought it was something else like i thought it was a crop top or something like maybe i accidentally ordered it i'm, I'm not really sure what i was thinking when i ordered this i know i was looking at a couple of shoulder pad tops they, i think they had a crop top um so i don't know how i ended up with this one because that's not a crop top um but i mean we'll see we'll try it on i might be surprised so i've got the shoulder pad top on and i've just done it like not tucked in i'll come closer so you can see um so you see the length and i just i'm not, i feel like there's not really much about it obviously like tuck it in and stuff it looks completely different and i mean if you're more i think it'll be a good work top um but i don't wear a uniform for work and i don't see where i would wear this because i have got the t-shirt style one i'm really not sure what made me order this like maybe it was just the way it was styled but yeah i definitely think i must have ordered this by mistake because i don't remember ordering it and equally i don't really think it's for me um but yeah it is a really nice top i definitely think that it's a good one if you work in an office and you want to be like more fashionable and stuff um and i think it looks nice with like jeans and heels too if you want it as like a nice um going out top like jeans and nice top like it's really nice that but personally i just don't think that there's a need for it in my wardrobe oh this is 100 percent staying as long as it fits me this is the so it's like a knitted bodysuit and it's this gorgeous like oatmeal-y kind of brownie oatmeal colour marl. It's got like a, almost like a race, it's got a racer bag, but it's quite like, I don't know, like it's a really nice front too. And it's actually a bodysuit, which I really like. And I think I've got shorts to match. Yes, I have. And I've got two pairs of shorts. So these really remind me of the Jacquemus shorts that everyone has got. Uh, and everyone's got these too, but obviously they're Zara, so they're way cheaper. 
and I just thought they were so cute and originally I really wanted them but I was like, I'm not going to order them because I don't know if I'll ever wear them but I've seen people wearing the Jacquemus ones actually as shorts and they look really cute so I got those and then I thought it would look nice because it's the same material to wear as like a little matching set maybe with like a shirt over the top or a blazer or like a sweatshirt over my shoulders so I wanted to get those as like a set so I've got the little knitted set on together um, to show you but I really love it. Like, I don't know if I'd wear it out, uh, but I love it so much. The top, I would 100% wear it out. I don't know if I'd wear it with the shorts. I feel like I'd wear them both out, but maybe not together. I'm not sure. This is definitely more of a loungewear. But I tell you what, guys, the, the shorts don't have much stretch in them. Let me come closer to show you the shorts. So they don't have much stretch in them whatsoever. Like, it was quite hard for them to get over my hips. Um, so I'm not sure whether to order them again and see if the other pair another pair do because the size small did have lots of stretch in them but the medium don't so um i'm not sure if it's like a fault with this pair so i might order another pair and see because i really like them i think i'll keep them even if they don't um but i just really love them they really remind me of the jacquemus ones i can't believe how um affordable they are in comparison and how similar they are and then this little uh, racer cami bodysuit it's got really cute back it's really nice it's really comfortable i got that in a medium too and i mean i definitely i could have gone with the small because it's a really stretchy material uh, which is why i'm so surprised about the shorts but it's just the waistband um but yeah i am glad i got a medium anyway because it looks fine um but i really like this for like a round the house kind of like loungewear look it's really cute um i just don't know how like practical it is from wearing out but i have put it with my chunk of trainers and socks and then this jumper to kind of make me feel less naked um, which is probably how I would wear it if I went out um, but I think I'd probably wear the shorts maybe with like an oversized t-shirt um, would look really cool um, and then the bodysuit maybe with like denim shorts um, and I think that would make them more wearable but just like maybe together it's quite a lot then some more shorts which these kind of are reminding me of like rugby short vibes so they're like that's kind of it's like it looks really silky but then it feels really almost like wet it's like i don't know um but this big waistband is really reminding me of like rugby shorts um it's got the cute little mother of pearl detail they are so soft and floaty i hope they're not going to be super see-through but i just really liked the pale green and i'm obsessed with like little shorts at the moment that aren't denim shorts i'm just really enjoying like different types of shorts in case you hadn't already noticed from this haul um and they did actually do a matching blazer but they didn't have my size so i if i really like these then i might see if i can pick up the blazer when it comes back in stock um because i think it'd be really cute i don't know now feeling material if i would want a blazer that's like so floaty um but either way i think this will look cute with like a cream blazer or just like a sweatshirt like really casual so these are the shorts on and i really like them actually they're really comfortable they fit really nicely I don't know if that actually is see-through as I thought they would be. I am wearing white pants though. Uh, I've just got them with a racer vest and green bag which is in this haul but you might not have seen it yet. Um, and I just think this is like a really cute casual kind of summer look. Um, chunky trainers again and socks because I live in them. Um, but yeah I actually really like these shorts. I wasn't expecting them to like this much so maybe I should like order the blazer and see what the set looks like together um but then i don't know i do quite like them on their own um what do you guys think i think they're actually really cute do you like my little outfit that i've put together with them the only thing is is are they like pajama shorts they kind of remind me of like pajama shorts i don't know if i'd feel comfortable leaving the house in them that's the only thing now i also picked up a couple of bralettes and i don't know why because <laughs> i don't like being super naked but this one, let me show you. So this one I got because I thought it'd be a really cute set and I kind of missed out on the whole um, Katie Holmes trend the first time around in winter. But I saw this bralette, which is quite frankly adorable in this khaki color. Um, and I just really, really like it. I'm not someone who would wear a bralette over a shirt. That's not my style. I just find, I mean, I think it looks cool like in editorials and on the catwalk but like for wearing every day i just it looks so uncomfortable and awkward like i just don't know like how people wear that anyway no shade <laughs> 
but I just really like this um, bralette to wear as a bralette. And then they had a matching, they've actually got a matching skirt too, but it's a pencil skirt and that's not really my style. Um, but they have this matching cardigan, which I thought would go really cutely. I actually got this in a medium, so I wanted it to be bigger, but I mean, if, if Lara calls that a medium, then I'm an XXXL <laughs> if I want it oversized. Um, but yeah, so maybe, I guess it's meant to be tight, but I was planning on wearing it open with this underneath it, which is why I wanted it to be oversized. Um, but I guess, I mean, can we just cope with the fact that that's a medium, guys? Because that's tiny, tiny weenie. So I'm feeling really exposed here. <laughs> so this is the cardigan and the crop top together. I have to admit, I thought the crop top, the cardigan was gonna like cover um, more, like it's really small. Like obviously I could have done it up, but honestly, I feel like I'm a large in this cardigan. So yeah, I definitely think the cardigan is a no. And I don't know if I would wear the crop top without it because it's so naked. Um, luckily I've just faked hands on my desk, tan. Um, but I've got my jeans and trainers on again. Um, but let me come closer to show you. Like, I do think it looks really nice as a duo, like, as a crop top if you wanted to show a lot of skin but if you don't want to show a lot of skin because like for me i think if you want to show a lot of skin then just wear the bralette on its own but like uh, to me this is too much skin to be like walking around with because this is like quite a short crop top too it's not like one that comes up to where your jeans are like there's a lot of flesh on show right now so maybe it would look cute like if i wore the crop top with a shirt or something open that might look cute but yeah for me like this is way too much skin going on then clearly i was like loving all the bralettes um and this one is so beautiful can we just cope with it it's like all gathered and it's kind of like that weird material that the shorts are made of again like kind of almost feels like wet like it's got a waxy coating or something but it's so pretty again like i would wear it and uh, like i've been wearing if you follow me on instagram you'll see i've been wearing lots of like open like denim shorts and then a shirt open with a bralette underneath so i just thought it'd be a nice kind of little extra thing to add detail as i said i wouldn't wear it over a shirt or something but or a jumper but i just thought it would add never say never though because who knows in three months time what i'll be wearing i could be eating my words but anyway i just thought it was really cute and i thought it would look really nice layered like under a big oversized white shirt and denim shorts or something so this is a bralette on and I've just showed you like how I would style it. So jeans, chunky trainers, pretty much how I would wear everything. Um, and then the, an oversized shirt. So you can just see like the tiniest bit of the bra. Um, but I do still feel quite naked. Like, I don't know why it feels different today. Cause I have worn bralettes like this with shirts before, but I am feeling really naked. Um, let me show you it's a really beautiful bralette like honestly i mean it is more of a crop top than a bralette because it is like that material um and i definitely would wear something like this on holiday but i'm just not sure how comfortable i would feel walking around in this because i'm not like super body, body confident i know i'm stood here like this now but you guys are my friends um but like yeah i just feel like i don't have a six pack i don't have abs so I don't know how I'd feel about, um, but I like it like this, where you can just see like the tiniest little slither. Um, but then I'm like, do I really need such a nice bralette? Like, will the plain white one I've got do for that? Do you know what I mean? So I'm just not really sure. Um, I'd love to hear your guys' opinions. It is such a beautiful bralette. I'm like breathing in whilst talking, but it's so beautiful. Um, but I'm just like, do I need it? And I love Zara shoes and bags. I actually picked up a couple of accessories. Uh, this is, as I said, like my first order from Zara in literally over a year. Is it over a year? No, 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 I'm lying. I have ordered stuff from Zara since then, but like a big order, I mean. Um, and I picked up these shoes. I don't know if they're Bottega vibes or not, but I really like them. They're like, they've got this like mesh detail here. Can you see? If I put my hand through, it's like mesh. I just thought they were really cool. They really remind me of the Bottega ones that are close to toe, which I'm not a fan of, um, that have got the anklet around. So I thought if you wore these with a really cute gold anklet, they would look so expensive. I think they look expensive as they are anyway. And I just thought they were a really nice pair of shoes um and have that like luxury look to them i can't see they were 39.99 too which i think is so cheap for a pair of like heels i don't know if they're leather don't think they are but 
I mean, 39.99 can't go wrong. I picked up a tote bag because I'm loving tote bags at the moment. And, um, and then I saw this and it's like a tie dye ombre dip dye vibe, but not like too hippie looking. And it's really big. That's what I love about tote bags. I just think they can really change up an outfit. Like they just, I, I don't know why. I've never really liked tote bags before. I've always thought that they're a bit like shove your stuff in like when you need to take your laptop to London. But I actually really like, I'm getting, really liking them. This is 29 99 which when you think about the fact that the shoes are only £10 more, it is a lot for a tote bag. But then are we saying that the bag is expensive or are we saying that the shoes are really cheap? I don't know, maybe a bit of both. Um, it's got a little hook. It's also got a magnetic fastening at the top so it doesn't like completely hang open. Um, and they had this in baby pink too. I just wanted green because I've got purple. Uh, in another tote bag but yeah I don't now that I mean I thought 29.99 was quite cheap but now that I'm thinking about it and I'm thinking about the price of the shoes I'm thinking is it cheap though so I'm not really sure but uh what do you guys think which are your favorite pieces that's everything but anyway thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe if you haven't already um hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of my videos because I am uploading regularly and I will see you next time